A south side is actually a gin version of a mojito. Not a lot of people know that name, but in certain parts of the world, if you call for a south side, what you're asking for is a mojito made with gin. So I thought what we would do, bearing in mind we've got the opportunity to use Worthing Orange Blush Gin, is that we would make a chocolate orange south side, uh, which actually is quite a delicious drink. So it's slightly more technical than many of the other cocktails that we do, but worth the time that you put into making this to get a really great drink out the other end. So we're gonna put it into a highball. This is a 12 ounce highball. I'm gonna start by taking some mint leaves as you would with any mojito. But the mint leaves that I've got here are chocolate mint leaves. So it's a variety which is really chocolatey and minty and aromatic, reminds you of after eight mints, that sort of thing. So I've got six decent sized mint leaves which I'm just gonna drop into the bottom of the glass. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar to that and I guess if I was making this in a traditional way, I'd be putting in things like caster sugar, fine sugar, and breaking it down. But it's much easier, if you've got it, to use a sugar syrup. Everything dissolves and blends and mixes much quicker. And I'm just going to put in, well, actually, I'm putting in 10 ml. But let me tell you this now. If you like the flavor of mint and you want the mint to come through more, then the more sugar you put in draws the mint flavor through more. If when you have these drinks, you actually prefer the citrus side of it, in other words, you quite like the lime that comes through a traditional mojito style drink, then actually the lower the amount of sugar in, the more the lime comes through. So that's like a general rule for you. Anyway, so we got our sugar in there, we got our mint, uh, gonna take a pestle and I'm gonna squeeze the mint down with the sugar. And the whole idea of this is to press because what I want to do is I want to release those wonderful mint oils, in this case, those chocolate mint oils. Uh, but what I don't want to do is I don't want to break up the mint into small pieces and I don't want it to get bitter. In other words, if you start to really whack it, it tends to bruise it a bit and it gets a little bit bitter. So just press and you will start to get the aroma of those, those oils coming through with the sugar. And I, I've got it already. I can smell the mint, I can smell the chocolate mint coming through. So that's good. I know that's going to infuse the rest of the drink as we progress. Let me just put that to the side. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of crushed ice. And actually, if you've got crushed ice, it's much better for this drink. If you don't use cubes, that's absolutely fine as well. So a little bit of crushed ice, about a third of the way up the glass. There we go. And then I'm gonna add some of our Worthing Orange Blush Gin. Now actually with these drinks, I tend not to measure because I know by the time I've added the gin, I've added the ice, I know where I am, but I will measure it for our sake. And I'm gonna start by adding 25 ml. We will obviously be adding more gin later. So get the 25 ml in there. So we've got at the moment our combination of some of our Worthing Orange Blush Gin, obviously the sugar and the mint. And now I wanna to start to blend these flavors because it's this process of stirring and building. In other words, we're making this drink in the glass. We call this building the drink. There's no shaking in something else. There's no stirring or blending. It's all happening here in the glass. And this process starts to infuse the flavor. So that chocolate mint and the sweetness of the sugar cuts through and balances with the orange that you get from our Worthing Gin. Okay, that's good. I can smell, the smell coming off of that is actually amazing. Um, I'm going to put in a little more crushed ice now. Uh, bring it up to about two thirds of the way. And then what I want to do is I want to add our citrus and our remaining uh, Worthing Gin. So I've got a lime down here. Just cut the lime in half. Let me pop that in there. Lime, really important for this. I want to squeeze in that half a lime. Just want to check how much juice I get from that lime. I would say that's probably around about 10 mils. So I'm gonna take the other half of the lime and squeeze that as well. There we go. That's good. Very nice. Uh, now I'm gonna add the remainder of our Worthing Orange Blush Gin. So another 25 mils. So in total, now we have 50 mil. And I'm gonna blend those flavors together again. So let's give it a good stir. It's good. In natural fact, I'm going to turn my spoon upside down. I'm going to try and start lifting some of that mint up through the drink. So the mint leaves come further towards the top. There we go. And let's just give that some more blend. All right, so those flavours, those aromas have come together really nice. I'm really quite happy with how that is displaying, how 
uh, the aroma is sort of falling off of this drink. And now I'm gonna bring the ice pretty much to the top and then we're gonna finish it off with what I tend to call an optional extra. So let's get a little bit more of our crushed ice in there. A little bit more. That's good. All right. So the optional extra for me is soda. Now some people say you should always have soda in this drink, but I can tell you now it is an option. There are enough people out there who prefer these sort of drinks without soda for you to leave the soda out. So as a bartender, I would always ask my clients, I would always ask my guests, do you want to splash of soda or not? But anyway, I'm putting some soda in, just a small amount. If you ever go into a bar and you get any kind of mojito style drink, where you're getting about two thirds alcohol and ice and then the top third of it is soda, that is not the drink you are looking for because that's just watering it down into a long spirit and mixer. Uh, finally, one more little stir just to drop that soda in so it's not solely sitting on the surface of the drink. And then as my final garnish, what I like to do is I like to take the uh, sprigs of the top of the youngest, freshest mint that you've got. So these have just shot out of the top of my, of my pot of mint. They are really aromatic. And the point of these is that if I can tuck those into the top here, like a little bunch of mint, and then take a straw uh, using our reusable glass straws and get the straw in right by the mint, then what's gonna happen is, as I drink it, or as you drink it, or as your friends drink it, what happens is you don't just get the incredible flavors that you've blended into this cocktail, but you also get the aroma where your nose is sitting right over that mint. You get the aroma of that fresh mint as well. And the combination of the two is what you are looking for. It makes for an amazing drinking experience. So there you go. This is our chocolate and orange Southside. Give it a go. Let us know how you get on.